Hello be thy name, my Lord, Krishna, the personality of God. Let your holy name be glorified. This is our moment. It is not a sectarian, it is very scientific moment. Scientific moment because at the present moment we are all godless, forgotten. What is God? and what to speak of His name. They do not believe in God and what to speak of His name, fame, His place, His activities, His form, His quality. How we can know? There is no educational system uh, about the science of God. This movement, Krishna Consciousness movement, is teaching the science of God. God is absolute. Absolute means there is no difference. Just like in the relative world, this is relative world. Material world means relative world. Relative world means the sun. As soon as I say the Son, there must be a Father. As soon as I say a friend, there must be another man, friend. As soon as I say water, there must be something as water. <coughs> but in the absolute world, the name water and the water is the same. This is called absolute. No different separation. So in the kingdom of God, the God is God and His Son is also God. So by chanting Hare Krishna, you are directly in contact with God. This is the meaning of Hare Krishna. We think we are enjoying, but we are suffering actually. And because we cannot understand uh, what is suffering, suffering there is, uh, sometimes we come to understand, but we are accepting this suffering as enjoy. Uh, a man is working very hard, uh, very hard, whole day. Uh, he is the, this is not enjoyment. Uh, you have got a car, but you are running at seventy mile speed, going to your business, and there you are earning hundreds and thousands of dollars. So you are thinking that you are enjoying, but this labor is suffering, you forget. And in order to forget this suffering, then I take to wine, take to this, take to that, to forget this suffering. So actually we are suffering, but we are accepting it as enjoying. This is called illusion. Anyone who is very much sensuous, very much attached to sense gratification, they are called demo. And those persons who do not indulge in sense gratification but utilize this body or this life for God realization, Krishna realization, they are called gods. There are two classes of men demon and God. Those who are engaged in God consciousness, they are not God but godly. And those who are not, because this human life is meant for this purpose, uh, forgetting our Father, forgetting our God, God. we are uh, criminal within this material world. Therefore our only business is how to get out of this prison house and go back to home, back to God. God is like you and me, a person. But He is pacific ocean, we are dropped. The question was, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, which is a scripture that we study, it says that Krishna did not want us to come to this material world. The question is, if Krishna did not want us to come, why are we here? Yes, He forced Krishna to allow you to come. Just like sometimes a child 
forces the father. Father says, my dear son, do not do this, do not go. But he insists, well, I must, I must. All right, you go at your risk. That's all. And you suffer. What can be done? Because you are God, because you are son of God, uh, God has got independence, full independence, almighty. Therefore, you have acquired the quality of your father. You have got little independence. The God does not interfere with your little independence. Beginning from Lord Brahma down to the worms in the stool, gradually, according to your work, according to your desire, you manufacture the different types of body and enjoy and suffer. That's all. In their main senses, we cannot understand what is Krishna or God, His name, His form, His attributes, His first times. We cannot understand by these blunt material senses. Then how it is to be understood? After all, this human life is meant for understanding God. That is the only business of human life. The nature, material nature, gives us this opportunity to uh, have this human form of life, the uh, facility of this life, or this form of life is given to us just to understand God. Other forms of life, cats and dogs, trees, and so many other things, there are eight million four hundred thousand forms of life. So in other forms of life it is not possible to understand what is God. If we call all the dogs of the your country, and come here, we shall talk about God. No, no, there is no possibility of understanding. But in the human form of life, there is possibility. doesn't matter whether it is in India or America or Australia, any human being, uh, if he tries and if he uh, reads the scriptures, never mind Bible, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad, then he will understand God. The beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Janmadasya Jataha, absolute truth is that from whom everything has come into existence. Now, what is the nature of the absolute truth? Everything means there are two things, matter and spirit, two things. Uh, just like this table is matter, and 
We, living entities, we are spirit, the spirit soul. This material body is my covering, just like dress. Every one of us is dressed, covered by some, some kind of dress. Similarly, all living beings, they are dressed by the material covering. So we, the spirit soul, part and parcel of God, at the present moment we are covered by two kinds of dresses. The subtle dress, mind, intelligence, and ego, and the gross covering. Subtle means we know there is this thing, but we cannot see. Just like you know I have got mind, I know you have got mind, but I don't see your mind, you don't see my mind. I know you have got intelligence, you know I have got intelligence, but we don't say, don't see what is that intelligence. Simply uh, identification, I am, this consciousness, that also you have got consciousness, I have got consciousness, but we don't see. So things which are not visible to these material eyes, that is called subtle. And spirit soul is still subtle. Uh, so uh, human life is meant for understanding that spirit soul and the supreme soul. The in Krishna consciousness, the, the process is to get beyond the disease of material existence. Yes. The, the first part of his question: How to do this? Second part of his question, what is the end result after taking the process? The, the process is to uh, transfer yourself from material energy to spiritual energy. Uh, we are under energy. The God has got two energies, material energy and spiritual energy. We are also energy. We are marginal energy. So marginal energy means we can remain under the material energy or on the spiritual energy as we make our choice. Marginal, just like on the beach, you find sometimes they, on the border of the water, the water is covering the land, and sometimes the land is open. This is called marginal position. Similarly, we are marginal energy of God, living entities. So we can remain under the water, means the material energy, or we can remain open on and spiritual energy. What, what is our uh, view of Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, is he is Son of God, the best Son of God. So we have all respect for Him. Yes. Saint Francis, uh, the founder of this particular order, yeah. which we have been invited to speak to, found God in the material world, and he used to address the aspects of the material world as brother and sister, brother tree, sister water, uh, like that. Uh, what is your view upon this? Real God consciousness. This is real God consciousness. Yes. Not that I am God conscious and I kill the animals. That is not God. To accept the trees, plants, lower animals, insignificant ants, even as brother, samasarve subhuti. So this is explained in Bhagavad Gita. Brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kāṅkati samasarve subhuti. So sama sama means equal. 
to all living entities. To see the spirit soul, anyone, it doesn't matter either he is man or cat or dog or tree or ant or insect or big man. They are all parts and parcel of God. They are simply dressed differently. One has got the dress of tree, one has got the dress of king, one has got the insect. One. That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Pandita samadarsina. One who is pandit, learned, his vision is equal. So, if Saint Francis was thinking like that, that is higher standard of spiritual understanding. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> what is this sound mean? That means begin to roll. Action. That means action. When they snap that, that's the beginning of the uh, shooting. It's the boy who's pulling the cart in the red, he's making one documentary film all about your stay here in Australia. And then it will be distributed to uh, the government. Actually, this is an independent film. So it can be put into a library. And people can get it for their schools, colleges. To understand Krishna is very difficult job. Krishna has personally said in the Bhagavad Gita, Manusanam Sahasreshu Kasti Jatati Siddhai. Out of many, many millions of persons, not only at this age, 
in the past also. Uh, Manushanam sources, out of many millions of persons. Uh, Kosti Jatati Siddhaya, one is trying to become perfect. Generally, they have no knowledge what is perfection. Uh, perfection they do not know. Uh, the perfection means to stop this process of birth, death, old age, and disease. That is called perfection. Everyone is trying to be perfect, but they do not know what is perfection. Perfection means this, that when you are free from these four imperfections, what is that? Birth, death, old age, and disease. Everyone, nobody wants to die, but there is forcefully, you must die. That is imperfect. But these rascals, they do not know. They think that we must die. But no, because you are eternal. You are not meant for death. But nature is forcing you. Must die. Supreme being, uh, full with six kinds of opulences, therefore he attracts everyone. This is the definition of the word Krishna. This Bhagavad Gita is spoken by Krishna, the perfect person, the pains and pleasure. On account of this material body, we have to feel. Uh, but if we come to the spiritual platform, that is, understanding of the soul, then in any condition we shall be happy. Another question? Yeah. Yes, sir. Do you consider your movements the major form of enlightenment emanating from the United States today? <laughs> what, what order of priority has your movement in the White House Psychological Warfare Department? The CIA? And, and will, also, will you also be coming along to our July 4 demonstration again this year to try and fuck it up and divert people away from taking up real political issues concerned with Australian right, Indian? We can answer one, one at a time. I can answer them for you if you like. Uh, our movement is not coming from the United States. If you, have, if, you have, if you have some paranoiac uh, uh, stigma about uh, everything coming from the United States, well, that's your hang-up, not mine. Uh, second of all, uh, our spiritual master, uh, he came to the United States to start this Krishna consciousness movement uh, because he got a because he got a free if he got a free ticket on the boat to go there. And because it was the mercy of this one lady who gave him the free ticket on the boat, he came to America to, uh, on the orders of his spiritual master. Uh, this is the reason he came to America to start Krishna consciousness. If you had sent him a free ticket, he probably would have come to Australia first. Uh, he was a monk, he was a monk, a penniless monk in, in, in India, and he was trying to follow the orders of his spiritual teacher by spreading love of God.
Some people would say that Krishna consciousness is uh, too austere. Huh? Too austere. Yes. It should be taken in stages. What is that austere? Austerity. Huh? You are starving? <laughs> we say don't eat meat. Is that a very great austerity? No, that is the easiest <laughs> to give up. There, no illicit sex. We don't say no sex. Illicit sex. Huh? So uh, uh, what is the austerity? Huh? Well, devotees, they must rise early in the morning. Yeah. Take cold bath. That, that, is, that is healthy. <laughs> because early to rise, early to, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy and wise. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Right. <laughs> what to speak of early rise? I practically I don't sleep at night. Only two hours. Yes. And still I work in the early in the morning. What is it wrong then? You know, I, I don't sleep at night. One big dunga. Yes, there is. And then take on one what is your sweater? Mm -hmm. This is your sweater and hat. Mm -hmm. So, how do you think I'll like? This is different, this flower.